Hello and welcome to Three Dollar TV. I am Vishakha Thakur and I am Ruchi Sharma. The past week witnessed a significant uptick in Bitcoin's price, peaking around sixty-eight thousand dollars with a twelve percent rise in the last week. This rally pushed Bitcoin to a three-week high, spurred by increased whale activity and heightened interest in institutional investors and over one point four billion dollars inflows into Bitcoin ETFs. So Ethereum followed suit, uh, climbing alongside Bitcoin, rising over nine percent in the last week and. Currently trading above twenty six hundred dollars. Well, the upcoming Ethereum protocol upgrades and rising on chain activity have fueled investor optimism, contributing to its price stability in a higher range. While Bitcoin's dominance has grown, reaching around fifty nine percent of the total crypto market cap, several altcoins have shown notable gains. Noteworthy altcoins like Solana, Chainlink, and Avalanche saw substantial price gains driven by project specific developments and integrations that captured investor attention. So moving on, BlackRock's spot Bitcoin ETF iShares Bitcoin Trust experienced a massive net inflow of three ninety three point four zero million dollars on October sixteenth. So according to the data from Zozo Value, this figure represents the largest influx since July twenty two, when IBIT saw five twenty six point seven million dollars in new investments. Well, Franklin Templeton's EZBC recorded eleven point seven nine million dollars, and Ark and Twenty One Shares ARKB saw eleven point five one million dollars in inflows. Other funds such as Invesco's BTCO attracted six point four three million dollars, and Vanex HODL garnered five point seven five million dollars. Valkyries BRRR too recorded a minor inflow of one point nine two million dollars. So meanwhile, Vitalik Buterin, the co-founder of Ethereum Network, has outlined several objectives paramount to future development of the blockchain. These goals are tailored to improve the search, the second phase of Ethereum's developmental roadmap, which aims at scaling the network using rollups. It is worth mentioning that the key goals of the search include at least 100,000 transactions per second on Ethereum and its L2, preserving the decentralization and robustness of the Ethereum L1, maximum interoperability between L2s and some L2s inheriting Ethereum's core properties like trustlessness, openness and censorship resistance. So in another interesting development, Elon Musk's Tesla has moved almost entire stash of 11,500 Bitcoin worth around 760 million dollars according to Arkham Intelligence. There were 26 transactions in total on October 15 to various wallet addresses it revealed. The Tesla holdings has been dormant for 2 years up Until these latest transactions, the wallet balance is now zero, according to Arkham's platform. Well, elsewhere, Monochrome Asset Management has launched Australia's first spot Ethereum exchange-traded fund on the CBOE exchange following the asset's approval in the U.S. market. The Monochrome Ethereum ETF began trading on Monday, October 14th, which offers Australian investors a new way to access the cryptocurrency. And the asset manager secured top industry players for the IETH launch, Petco and Gemini, to provide custody. Services and Straight Street Australia to act as the fund administrator. Moving on, as countries all over the world are mulling over imposing stringent digital currency regulations, Italy has decided to increase its capital gains tax on crypto from 26% to 42%. Well, Vice Economy Minister Maurizio Leo announced that this change during a press conference discussing the country's budget for 2025. This announcement comes after measures approved by the Council of Ministers on Tuesday evening, which are intended to generate resources to support families, youth, and businesses. Meanwhile, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime expressed deep concern about crypto's role in facilitating illicit activities across Southeast Asia. It notes that the existing underground banking infrastructure, including under-regulated casinos, junkets, and illegal online gambling platforms, has increasingly adopted crypto as a tool for crime. And in a significant operation, the Delhi Police, with assistance from cryptocurrency exchange Binance, successfully dismantled a large-scale renewable energy scam orchestrated by the fraudulent entity Gold Coast Solar. Well, this elaborate scheme deceived numerous investors by claiming government backing and promising substantial returns from investments in solar power projects. The operation led to several arrests and the recovery of over 100,000 USDT in digital assets. And lastly, Sui Pak Social Fi platform Record announced a collaboration with the Indian entertainment giant Shimaru Entertainment. Under this collaboration, Shimaru will become a platinum member of Record, share some of its biggest Bollywood cinema IPs, and in 
enhance the experience of movie fans through blockchain technology. Well, this move by Shimaru is futuristic and one of its kind in the industry. Shimaru is one of the largest owners of entertainment IP worldwide and this partnership will convert its Bollywood movies and music into digital collectibles. So that's all in the weekly wrap. This is me Vishakha Thakur signing off. And this is me Ruchi Sharma signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3.TV and for more information and stories log on to our website www.3worldsteam.io or scan the QR code. Have a great weekend.